You need to create funnel in Google Looker Studio, but you don't know how. Let me show you in this video. Ok, I've got Google Looker Studio open right here. Now let's check what options we have. Basically, if we click on this add a chart option, we will be able to see multiple visualizations. First is table, scorecard, time series and so on. But if we scroll down, we will be able to see that we don't have any funnels here. We have for example this gauge, waterfall, scatter plot and so on, but we don't have funnels. So how can we insert one? To insert funnel, we will need to go to community visualizations. So what is that? If we click on this little button here, you will be able to see community visualizations. So let's click on that. And now we are able to see multiple visualizations here. For example, we have this one gauge and also here is funnel. This one we will be using in our tutorial. But let's explore other options. If I click on this, I will be able to see more charts that we have. So if I scroll down, I will be able to see what else can we use. For example, we have this heat map, waterfall again, some search box and so on. But let me close this. We will be using for this purpose, as I said, this metric funnel. So let's click on this one and let's place it here. Now we have our funnel. Now what we need to do? We need to provide values to this funnel. So let's see what we can analyze. On this right hand side, we are able to see data source and also belonging columns. So we will be using first sales. And now I will be able to see 100% sales. We have only one metric for now. But if I add profit, for example, here, let's see what will happen. Basically, we will have profit. Basically, it's 12% as we can see. And also, let's add another metric. In this case, I will include this discount metric. Let's place it here. And now we will be able to see also discounts. So basically, this is how you can create your funnel. It's very simple. You just need to provide metrics and basically that's everything. Let's try to create another funnel with different metrics. So instead of sales, let's provide, for example, city. Basically, this way we will be able to count number of cities. Let me remove those two. And now we have number of cities here. Also, let's use country next. Instead of count distinct, let's use count, for example. So basically, now we can see that we have same number of cities and countries here. But let's add, for example, a region here. As you can see, we will be also able to see 100% because for each city we have country and region. If we use count distinct, for example, we will be able to see different values. So let's take a look. And now we have 531 city, one country and four regions. So basically it makes sense to put region above country. And this way we will be able to see our funnel. But as you can see, these metrics are not very useful for us. So be careful with values that you are using in your funnel. Okay, with this I'm going to conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.